Okay, and welcome back to my videos. Uh, as you see there's another quest available over there, but it's not really that important, so I'm just going to continue with the game. As I said, we are starting the main body of the quest. Uh, right, let's go on. All right, blah 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 blah. World map. First, uh, you see that the whole the part where I've got my party is blank. That's because we're going from a main air from a base area. The teams disbanded once you reach there. So first off, let's choose Beliana and Morrigan. Forget it's Dan, don't like him. Well, sort of semi like him, but don't really like his body suit. So I'm going to choose Alistair. Yes. And choose accept. And we go to the world map. You see? Some areas just flashed and have become uh, semi seeable. Right, we're starting by going to Lake Kalanhar, which is just right of the big part that's not as coloured like the rest of the um, map. Let's go. Alright. If any of you remember the, the way the story was told when it was done the um, the origin part, they can hide is where the, the Tower of Major is. Do you see the tower? Hmm? The view from the top must be spectacular. I wouldn't. No, I was too busy doing my harrowing. Uh, before I carry on, uh, I just want to say something about how I'm playing this uh, Let's Play. Um, I originally decided to do the main, main quest with the mage, Dragon Age 2, then Awakening. Then the rest of the uh, Origins, then the bits that aren't, won't be seen in this um, Let's Play. I've, I had a, a change of heart about that. I'm actually planning to do the Danish origin before I do Dragon Age 2. But I'm still using this file to do Dragon Age 2. I'm hoping that there are some of you out there that actually probably got a sort of half clue about why I've planned to change things that way. Uh, those of you that don't, I'm sure it will come apparent later on. Talk to this guy first. You're the Grey Warden, aren't you? Exactly who I was hoping to meet. I represent a collective of mages interested in going about their lives without the constant scrutiny of the Chantry. Aha. Uh -huh. Isn't that illegal? We harm no one, I assure you. And we enforce the Chantry's laws among ourselves. All we seek is a life outside of the Templar's shadow. Next to me, and in every major settlement, you will find an inconspicuous sack containing requests from mages all over the land who need the assistance of someone skillful and discreet. Thank you, my friend. We have agents in every major settlement to reward you for work done on behalf of the Collective. Make us smile upon you. Right. This is another type quest. I'm sure you remember that there's three types of uh, class in the game. This is the second type available. I shall tell you about the third type uh, another time. Alright, it's places of power. Right, I know where all these are. So I'm going to tap that. <coughs> See, uh, take most of the termination and herbal magic. Right, those are the three that I want. I don't think I can do any of them right now. No. But I'm almost ready for one. Okay. 
Right, now let's go on to the to the tower. And we've got the uh, we didn't make we didn't build the tower, Alistair. It was it was just a place we decided to use. It'll be um, known later. This guy's in, this guy's hilarious. You, you're not looking to get across to the tower, are you? Because I have strict orders not to let anyone pass. Uh, okay. Oh, you're a grey warden, are you? Yeah. Prove it. Uh, I have these documents here. Yes. Oh, a grey warden seal. Aha. So you're claiming to be one of those? Yes, I am. You know, I have some documents too. They say I'm the queen of Antiva. What do you think of that? Hmm. Let's have some fun. I'm queen's female. Don't question royalty. Anyway, it was nice chatting with you. Now, on your way, right now, go. There's three ways of dealing with this one. You can intimidate him to make him with his trousers. You can do a persuade that makes him completely confused. But this one's my favourite since I've got Morgan in my team. That dark eyed temptress over there, surely the tower would be far too dull for her. Because it gets a little lonely out here sometimes. And, you know, you could just leave her with me. Oh, excellent. I have been hoping for new prey. Prey? Who will take but a moment. Perhaps you should go aboard the vessel to prepare while we are away. We must row ourselves across. I fear the lad will no longer have the use of his limbs or his eyes once I'm done with him. Oh, uh, maybe I, I should, um... Wonderful! I can sense his terror. Oh, that will make the loving all the sweet. So, you said you wanted to get across. Maybe we should go now. Right now, now! <laughs> See? Come along, I suppose. I'm sure you can understand why this is my favourite uh, way of uh, making him do what I want. Kills 16, don't lead the most powerful, 97% hit rate. Hmm. But this is early, early in the game, it might go down. Tactics make your team work together, for instance you can command your warrior to inflict enemies and go after your mage. Since I've got two mages, I'm sure it would be difficult. Okay. And I want two men stationed within sight of the doors at all times. Do not open the doors without my express consent. Is that clear? Yes, sir. The doors are barred. Are they keeping people out or in? Now we wait and pray. Oh, it's so obvious, Alistair's a Templar. He talks like one. Well, look who's back. A proper Grey Warden now, are we? Glad you're not dead. Yeah, right. As if I'd believe you. Perhaps. Now we're dealing with a situation that doesn't involve you, Grey Warden. Ooh, I am a mage, not just a Grey Warden, dude. I shall speak plainly. The tower is no longer under our control. Aha! Abominations and demons stalk the tower's halls. You were too complacent. First Jowan, now this. Don't think I've forgotten your role in Jowan's escape. Yeah, it was fun. But seriously, look at what's around you, dude. True enough. So, how about the first enchanter? We don't know. We saw only demons. Hunting Templars and Majors alike. I realised we could not defeat them and told my men to flee. Ow. I've got to do something about this. I have sent word to Denerim, calling for reinforcements and the right of annulment. Yes, we sort of uh, found out about um, an area ago. The Majors are probably already dead. Any abominations remaining in there must be dealt with, no matter what. This situation is dying. There is no alternative. Everything in the tower must be destroyed so it can be made safe again. Well, that's nice of you.
If there was, do you not think I would have chosen it? There are only abominations left in this tower. No one could have survived those monstrous creatures. It is too painful to hope for survivors and find nothing. Uh. I assure you, an abomination is a force to be reckoned with, and you will face more than one. I'm going to keep that. If you succeed, I would owe you much, enough that I would pledge my Templars to your cause. Without word from Denerim, I must determine our course. Surely destroying Darkspawn is a worthy goal. Well, let's go. A word of caution. Once you cross that threshold, there is no turning back. The great doors must remain barred. I will open them for no one until I have proof that it is safe. I will only believe it is over if the first enchanter stands before me and tells me it is so. If Irving has fallen, then the circle is lost and must be destroyed. May Andraste lend you her courage, whatever you decide. All right. No, nope. let's go on. Right, let's see. Uh, stop going. I always does that. So, uh, right. Right now. That's nice. Okay, give me your stuff, dude. I wish this was over. We're running low on supplies, and I don't know how much longer we'll last. All right, let's get some stuff. Yes. Would you like to trade? Yes, I do. But what I want is just that. Okay. Uh, let's get rid of. Things I do not need, like this prosper. Uh, um, um, Minus dagger. Okay, uh, right. I shall call it a video here, and I shall see you next time when we start climbing the tower to rescue the mages. Until then, bye bye.